all welcome to our channel so today we are doing geography of class 7 chapter a so you will learn about the different layers of atmosphere and the composition of the atmosphere further the chapter introduces the working of weather and climate with specific reference to the temperature and air pressure and different types of wind moisture and rainfall so coming towards the exercise of this chapter your first question is answer the following questions first part is what is atmosphere so your answer will be the huge blanket of air surrounding the earth is called atmosphere now second part is which two gases make the bulk of the atmosphere so the answer is nitrogen and oxygen makes the bulk of the atmosphere now a third question which gas creates greenhouse effect in the atmosphere so your answer will be carbon dioxide creates greenhouse effects in the atmosphere now fourth part is what is weather so weather refers to the short term changes in the atmosphere it is an r to r day to day condition of the atmosphere fifth question is name three type of rainfall so your answer will be conventional rainfall orographic rainfall cyclonic rainfall are the three types of rainfalls now last question is what is air pressure so air pressure is defined as pressure exerted by the weight of air on earth's surface coming towards the second question which is tick the correct answer first part is which of the following gases protect us from harmful sun rays so your options are carbon dioxide nitrogen and ozone and your correct answer will be c ozone now the second part the most important layer of atmosphere is troposphere thermosphere or mesosphere so your answer is troposphere and third part is which of the following layers of atmosphere is free from clouds three options are troposphere stratosphere and mesosphere so your answer will be b stratosphere now the fourth question is as we go up the layer of atmosphere the pressure increases b decreases and c remains the same so your answer will be decreases now the fifth question is when precipitation comes down to the earth in a liquid form it is called a cloud b rain and c snow so your answer will be b rain now third question is match the following you can see the rest of the question right here i'll be dictating the answer so the trade wind will be connected to e permanent wind second lu will be connected to f local wind c monsoon will be connected to b seasonal wind f last wind will be connected to horizontal movement of air now coming towards the fourth question which is give reason first is wet cloth takes longer time to dry on a humid day so your answer will be things remain damp and wet and take longer time to dry when the atmosphere around them is damp and wet humidity is the amount of moisture of water vapor present in the air at any moment in time on humid day the air is full of water vapor as the the air gets warmer its capacity to hold the water vapor increases as a result condition becomes more and more humid hence wet clothes take longer time to dry on a humid day so second part is amount of insulation decreases from equator towards pole your answer will be insulation refers to the incoming solar radiation intercepted by the earth the amount of sunlight received by the re region close to the equator is greater than the amount of sunlight received by the region close to the poles this is because of the tilt of the earth's axis as a result of this tilt the incoming solar radiation covers a greater area of at the equator than the poles so now the fifth question is solve this crossword puzzle with the help of given clues so you can see the crossword puzzle and the clues here i'll be dictating the answer according to the clues firstly i'll be dictating the cross one so a cross 6 is people second uh, cross 8 is carbon dioxide 11th is exosphere and then 12th is air 14th is oxygen and then 15th is wind 18th is ozone and 19th is cyclone so now coming towards the down part first one is humidity second one is cloud and third one is lu then comes fourth fourth is weather fifth is rain then seventh is atmosphere then comes ninth which is barometer 10th is isolation 13th is fog and then 17th is noon second part is make a weather calendar of one week use pictures or symbols to show different type of weathers 
You can use more than one symbol in a day if the weather changes. For example, the sun comes out when the rain stops. An example is given below. So you can see the rest of the question and here I'll be dictating the answer. So your first option is already there. Second will be mainly clouded like this. And then third is cloudy and gray. Picture is given there. Then fourth is cloudy with moderate rainfall. Then fifth one is partly to mainly cloudy with a heavy rainfall and possibility of lightning. Then sixth partly or mainly cloudy with ra uh, light rainfall and the last one will be mainly sunny so guys these were the exercises of this chapter if you have any doubt or any query you can tell us in the comment section and yeah guys do not forget to subscribe our channel we'll be coming up with the next chapter till then bye bye